we are going to learn how to create a bot that will automatically send an interactive list message with 10 options and also populate a Google Sheet whenever a lead comes on your Facebook ad. So first of all, we are going to head over to our bot studio and we are going to create a new bot. So over here, first of all, we are going to name the bot. This bot's particular work is that whenever a new lead comes from a Facebook ad, a Facebook ad, which also is a click to WhatsApp ad, which is the very first trigger you can see on your double tick bot builder studio, we select this trigger. That means whenever a new lead comes from a click to WhatsApp ad or a Facebook ad, what do we want to do? We want to send an interactive list message with up to 10 options. So we will come to the actions section by scrolling down and select on send interactive list message. Now there is a difference between an interactive list message and interactive message. An interactive message can only house up to three options, but an interactive list message, WhatsApp lets us add up to 10 buttons with sections as well as with description, right? So the automation that we are building is that whenever a new lead comes, we are going to send an interactive message, but at the same time, we are also going to populate our Google Sheet with this freshly acquired leads. And in order to populate our Google Sheet, we are going to use our action component, Google Sheets. Okay, now this is going to be a really interesting video because first of all, we are going to link the incoming data from the WhatsApp ad onto a Google Sheet. So we will have to click on either select an account or sign in with Google in case you are using this component for the very first time. On sign in with Google, a pop-up will open to select the email address where you have the particular Google Sheet. You need to click on continue and allow for permissions. That will enable double tick to push data onto your Google Sheet. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a fresh sheet. And we are going to name this sheet as Facebook Ad Leads. Awesome. So this is our sheet number one. Here you can choose to rename this sheet as well. Awesome. So once the sheet is created, we can choose to also have some headers which we want like name, phone number, add URL or source. Great. So once this particular sheet is created, we would head over to our double tick bot. We are going to click on refresh. The refresh will allow us to fetch all the new sheets or the columns that we have added. Now you can see that Facebook ad leads has been automatically picked up and all the columns that we have created is also visible over here. And the question is, what happens if we have more than one sheet? So I'll show you by adding another sheet and putting some column headers. Although this is not relevant, here is, this will give you a picture that if you have more than one subsheet on your, on your Google Sheet that you are linking and you click on refresh, here double tick is going to ask you to first of all select the sheet. Okay. So now once you select the sheet, in case you have multiple sheet, you will be able to start mapping this data. How do we map this data? By clicking on this green icon, we are going to select 
lead from CTWA. We can select one of those variables that is being passed by Meta from the ad. But in this case, the first column that we had is the name of the customer. Correct. So in case we want to pass the name first, we are going to select customer attributes name and second is the phone number. So we would want to pass the customer attribute phone number. Then we want to pass the ad URL. Now because ad URL is not a customer attribute, but a data which is coming from click to WhatsApp ad, we are going to select CTWA and click on source URL, right? Similarly, you can uh, use multiple other data that is coming from the Facebook ad and you can map those columns. Now that being done, in case you do not have any header onto your sheet, but you want to directly add a column from the bot itself, you can go ahead and add the column and even you can select what you value you want to pass like example body headline and so on and so forth we can pass all the variables that we are receiving from the click to whatsapp ad in fact if you want to pass timestamp you can click on the time variables and you can pass date in the DD, MM, YY or the format that is more preferable for you. We are going to select the time stone as Kolkata, which will pass our date followed by a dash or as in a new column, you can then go ahead and pass the day or the time in your desired format. Awesome. Now, whenever a new lead from click to WhatsApp ad will come through, we are automatically going to get the entire data onto our Google sheet. If you follow the mapping and then obviously you would want to respond to the customer immediately. So we are going to link it to the next component, which is our send interactive here also. You can add a particular header which will appear in bold. Uh, since the lead is coming from an ad, right? We are going to make the messaging also a little customized. For example, we are delighted that you saw our ad on Facebook and you are interested in our product. Now, if you're running an Instagram ad, which is also technically a meta ad, you can change it to make it Instagram. Now, here you can go ahead and start adding multiple options. For example, if the ad had multiple products and if you want your customer to select your products, you can select as product one, product two, product three, right? In case you want to group these products, you can add it under a section. So we will add section one, which will contain product one, two, and three. Now this is for sample. Let's take a real world example. If you are, for example, a cosmetic company, and you want to showcase your face creams. And in face cream, you have sun protection formula 30. Okay, here we can give different, different options. We can then add another section for hair and we can mention, for example, shampoo, conditioner. Okay, so how many have we added so far? Eight, we have space for two more. Once we hit the last option, 
then we can no longer add uh, beyond 10 options. We however do get the option to rearrange the sequence of how it will appear on WhatsApp to your customer. Now it is also important uh, to note that if you click on this three dot, you have the option to edit. And in edit, you have the option to not only change the name, but also to enter a description. Now a description of 72 characters can be typed down. For example, this shampoo is of superior quality. And we will click on save. You even have the option to click on the three dot edit and then map this particular item with a variable. You can also map it with a different customer attribute or a lead from CTWA value. This variable mapping is more significant when the data is coming from, let's say your CRM or your Google sheet, which we will cover in a different video, wherein using a webhook or a Google sheet trigger we are going to send some information from the Google Sheet or your CRM, which can be passed on as dynamic buttons in this interactive message in a much more advanced video and a complex bot. Now, once the description is being added, you are going to click on save and we are going to, first of all, save the bot and switch it on. Okay, uh, here it is important to give the option okay here it is important to mandatorily put the list button option uh, this is typically how the button would look like on whatsapp so here we are mentioning as select option and we are clicking on save so whenever your customer sees your meta ad or your Facebook ad or your ad on Instagram and they click on the button which redirects via click to WhatsApp ad to your WhatsApp API number and this they send you the message. As you can see, the bot automatically responds with the interactive message with multiple options. The options are similar to how we had listed it in the bot as well as with the descriptions. And at the same time, you can see if we select on a particular option, it comes as a response. As you can see on double tick, we can also see how the bot has responded from when the user had selected on the Facebook ad. And we will now go ahead and check on our Google Sheet that the bot has automatically populated this data. So this brings us to the conclusion of this video, wherein we have created a bot, which will capture the details of our Facebook ad via click to WhatsApp ad campaign and auto populate a Google sheet and sending customer a message with up to 10 options. So go ahead and create a bot, which will do it and try it out immediately.